Is the Boston Red Sox ace really back in full form? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Seat Radio. My name is Corbin, and yesterday's game for Red Sox fans was both eventful and scary. You had Chris Sale returning from the IL and making his first appearance since breaking his pinky last season there was a really scary moment with justin turner thankfully he's okay and you have jorge alfaro who's really lighting the world on fire right now and making the red sox decision on him much more difficult so what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to go over all of that we're going to talk about chris sales first appearance was it good was it bad what did he look like we're going to talk about the scary moment with justin turner and some injury updates with him and we're going to talk about what what jorge alfaro is doing right now at the plate that is turning some heads within Red Sox Nation. But before we get into that, just a heads up, we are going to be live on this channel tomorrow night, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to be talking about the World Baseball Classic, Spring Training storylines, really anything you guys want to talk about. So if you guys have not been to one yet, I highly suggest stopping on by. Again, that is going to be tomorrow night, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Anyways, make sure you guys have hit that like and subscribe button. We talk Red Sox content almost every single day. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one. Let's get into it. Let's start with the Justin Turner news because there is some positive updates that came from a really scary situation. For those of you who do not know, Justin Turner was hit in the face with a pitch yesterday by second year Detroit Tigers pitcher Matt Manning. It was a really scary moment, I think, for everyone involved, including fans, anyone on either team. But Justin Turner was able to get up and walk off the field with the help of a trainer. He was then transported to a local hospital. And thankfully, Justin Turner's wife updated everyone last night with some good news she tweeted out quote thank you to everyone that reached out about justin and sent prayers we're home now and he's resting okay maybe listening to a replay of the game he got 16 stitches a lot of swelling but we are thanking god no fractures and clean scans honestly this is sort of best outcome for a worst case scenario he didn't end up with any sort of long-term injuries it doesn't sound like he has a major concussion it seems as though it is mostly just that cut on his face as well as the swelling which again is good Good news for such a bad situation in all honesty i don't really want to talk about what the red sox are going to do if justin turner's out for an extended period of time and focus on you know what the red sox need to do to replace him i'm mostly focused on this video on the fact that justin turner's okay it is impressive to me that in the short time justin turner has been here he's made such a big impact on this red sox team off the field tristan Koss has talked about it there was a report that red sox players had went to the hospital to make sure that he is okay it just goes to show what type of character and person justin turner is again i don't really care how the red sox are going to supplement him being injured i care that justin turner is healthy and okay Okay. I was super excited about Justin Turner both on the field and off the field this season and he was already sort of living up to that. Again, it doesn't sound like this is going to be something that he's going to be out for a super long extended period of time, which is great news for the Red Sox as well as great news for Red Sox fans. Again, thankfully he's okay and I'm hoping for a speedy recovery of Justin Turner. Moving on now, let's talk about the ace of the Boston Red Sox coming back and making his first start in a Red Sox uniform. Yesterday, Chris Sale made his first start of the spring and really the first start in a spring training in about two or three years as well he ended up going two innings he only allowed two hits and he struck out two as well it was an outing of twos for chris sale but that's not the most impressive part of this outing the most impressive part of this outing in my opinion i feel like everyone's opinion is chris sales velo during this outing in the two innings that he pitched yesterday he topped out at 96 miles an hour that is wildly impressive one because it is your first start of spring training normally guys who have been in the league for a while aren't typically guys who go out there and really let loose on the first outing of spring training like a Corey Kluber or a James Paxton they really try to ease themselves into throwing at their top speed again no not for Chris Sale which really did we expect anything less but it's also impressive because last year even when he seemed fully healthy and made his start against Tampa Bay that was still two miles an hour slower than what he threw today he was averaging about 93 to 94 miles an hour on his fastball last season so for him to come in to 
this year already pumping 96 miles an hour is really really good sign for this red sox team now obviously some of that does have to do with adrenaline right here's a video of him walking off the mound and just how relieved and excited he was to be pitching in a baseball game again so a lot of that could have been adrenaline but it also is an indicator as to how healthy chris sale looked on the mound because outside of just velo he didn't look uncomfortable he didn't look sore he didn't look fatigued he looked like real chris sale again and that is absolutely what this red sox team needed especially with the news about james paxson and whether or not he'll even make the opening day roster having chris sale on this team and ready to go for opening day is something we have not said in a very long time and the fact that we're able to do that this year makes me really really excited now i'm not going to sit here and say that because of this sort of two inning outing that that we should expect a cy young caliber full season from chris sale no not at all right there's still plenty of time in spring training for things to go wrong you've got a full season for things to go wrong but as of right now this should get you excited about the regular season having chris sale come out in full-fledged form is something a lot of people were hinging this entire season on if the red sox didn't have a fully healthy chris sale this was going to be a really bad year and so far it looks like chris sale is going to come out swinging but again first start of the season let's not get fully ahead of ourselves yet let's just enjoy the fact that chris sale is healthy happy and pitching again for the boston red sox and finally i know we've already talked about jorge alfaro and his contract situation with the red sox but we gotta talk about what he's doing on the field because in 10 at bats for the boston red sox jorge alfaro this spring training has an average of 700 and on base percentage of 727 and he's had two doubles and only struck out twice in those 10 at bats jorge alfaro far was absolutely lighting the world on fire at the plate for this red sox team now we have not seen a ton of that power he has hit two doubles but he hasn't put anything out of the yard yet but i'm not really entirely concerned about that especially in spring training jorge alfaro did depart for the world baseball classic just yesterday so we probably won't see too much of him in a red sox uniform over the next couple of weeks which in my opinion is unfortunate because right now with what he's doing at the plate he's making it a really hard decision for this red sox team as to whether or not to add him to this 40-man roster he's not making it super easy to say no to him right now if he had stayed in with the red sox during camp maybe that probably not going to be a no is would have turned into a how the hell do you keep this guy off the 40-man roster but at the same time too there are definitely going to be baseball execs on this red sox team paying close attention to what he does in the world baseball classic plus he's not on the highest skilled team going into the world baseball classic so it doesn't seem like he's going to be there for a super extended period of time he should rejoin the team soon and i really think this guy has a legitimately good shot to make this 40-man roster i'm honestly at the point where i'm saying why wouldn't you add him to the 40-man roster right connor wong seems to be injured we don't know if he's gonna be ready for opening day but aside from that he looks much better on the field than he has in the past working with jason veritek he really is starting to pick up on some things especially with blocking balls in the dirt having a little bit of trouble throwing guys out at second but that's probably going to be a league-wide thing with the base changes and the pickoff changes all in all it makes perfect sense to me to add jorge alfaro to this 40-man roster and him absolutely dominating in spring training so far just kind of reassures that at the very least he's a depth piece for this red sox team that could make a legitimate impact at this major league level but we've already talked about this before if you want to check out that video the link will be in this description let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of jorge alfaro's performance in spring training so far do you think it's something that can be sustainable or do you think it's just sort of a burst trying to make the team and he's going to peter out at some point what did you think of chris sales first start did you like it did you not like it did it get you excited did it do nothing for you what did you think of chris sale being back in a red sox uniform and on the mount and finally Thank God that Justin Turner is as okay as he could have been after that really scary moment. We are hoping for a speedy recovery, recovery for Justin Turner. I cannot wait for him to rejoin this Red Sox team. As always, if you've made it to the end of this video, do me a favor. Make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new here, we talk Red Sox content almost every single day. Also, make sure you guys have hit the like button on this video as well. Helps these videos out a ton and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one and I will see you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern time on this channel and in the Red Sea.